Hi everybody, my name is Doug and I am on Interstate 35 in Northern Missouri driving to Kansas City to buy a car and I live in central Iowa. So this is my adventure on buying a car out of state. So my wife and I need a new car, well new to us, it'll be a used car. And we have specifically decided we wanted a Kia Sorento with a third row seat, 2016, excuse me, 2015 or newer. Didn't find what I wanted in central Iowa, so I expanded my search online uh, to a 500 uh, mile radius, 500 miles around where we live. Uh, used cars.com, Edmunds, True Car. Those are kind of the three main sites that I relied on and uh, found exactly what we wanted for that very specific car with very specific features. One was in Appleton, Wisconsin, and three of them were in Kansas City. And I just started basically emailing, texting these dealerships saying, hey, what's the best you can do for me? And eventually got to a point where I asked about discounts, offers, dealer fees. And I made an offer on the one in Appleton, Wisconsin, and they did not accept. So. I was glad because then I went to one of the dealerships in Kansas City and made an offer that was actually slightly lower for a one year newer car with the same amount of miles or slightly less and they did accept. Uh, so I was glad I didn't buy the one in Appleton, Wisconsin because I got a better deal in Kansas City. So I am driving to Oaks Kia in Kansas City right now. and. Uh, just an interesting process buying a car out of state. Uh, I made some general observations or maybe here's some general observations. One is even since I bought my last car about four years previous the market's gotten tighter and what I mean by that is um, you're not negotiating over thousands of dollars like maybe you would have 10 or 15 years ago. Now you're negotiating over hundreds of dollars because dealers know they have to price their cars attractively online or no one's going to even bother inquiring about them. So they've already got their price at a reasonable amount. I'm not saying they don't make profit, they sure do, but um, it, it's a closer gap to the trade-in than it was maybe 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, second observation is do a lot of research, use tools like the Carfax price valuation uh, on a website like cars.com you can get the VIN number for the vehicle you can take that VIN number to cars excuse me to Carfax and punch in the VIN number and it'll actually tell you what they think you should offer for the car and it'll show you what they think they would have bought it for on trade-in so you can see how much profit the dealers making Edmunds is another one Edmunds.com that'll give you estimates and I kind of averaged out several of those sites. I used a NADA NADA and used that to make my offer and I think the reason they accepted my offer without much haggling was because they knew it was a well-researched offer based on data. It wasn't just me trying to make a ridiculous low ball offer. It was lower than the online price but it wasn't ridiculously lower. It was about $400 less than the online price. Bear with my old blind man shades here. It's getting kind of dark. I mean light. The other thing was I asked both the dealership in Appleton, Wisconsin and here in Kansas City where I'm headed to take pictures or a video of the car and they did. Okay. So they did a full walk around, showed me any scratches, imperfections, those sorts here of things. Is. So um, yeah, it is a little scary buying a car online, but if you can get a good deal, so be it. Uh, so I'm renting this car. The car that I'm in right now is a rental, a one-way rental. I got a really good deal on it through Avis. This particular one will cost me 80-some dollars plus tax, ends up being 90-some dollars with tax. And what I found is Avis and Budget, which are pretty much the same company, seems like if you do a one-way rental same day, so put in your departure date and your arrival date as the same dates, they seem to come out the best of any rental car place that I found. And then I also found a coupon code that was able to knock something off the price on slick deals. 
Uh, I'll put a link in the description box to a different video I made on that topic along with the general information on it. Be sure to check out part two of this video where you can see my test drive and how the transaction went. And then check out part three where you can get tips on negotiating for the car as well as how I used a credit card to get some substantial rewards when buying this car.